Hello, I'm Darin Abugaida in Doha with your top stories on Al Jazeera. Venezuela's President Hugo Chavez has returned to his country after spending months in Cuba where he was receiving cancer treatment. The 58-year-old hasn't been seen in public since December. As Lucia Newman reports, there was increasing pressure to return. It was announced that he has he is using still a breathing pipe and that he cannot speak properly. But uh, he has to come back soon. That was certainly the feeling and what we've been hearing from his closest aides. He had to return to Caracas as soon as possible because the political cost of his absence has been rising day by day. Remember that the Bolivar, the, uh, the Venezuelan currency, was devalued by nearly 50 percent just a few days ago. The, uh, there have been severe food shortages, the worst in more than four years. Thousands of Shia Muslims in Pakistan are staging protests demanding action against those responsible for Saturday's bombing in the city of Quetta. Relatives of the victims are refusing to bury their dead until the government acts. MTS Tayyip reports. Leaders of the Shia Hazar community also have two other demands. They want to put an end to the killings of their community, and they've also insisted that laws be passed to make it a crime to discriminate against Shias in Pakistan. But this, of course, is perhaps yet another sign of just the anguish and suffering that this community has faced over the past few years. More than 80 people were killed in Saturday's attack, an attack which followed a similar attack just last month in which more than 90 people were killed. A prominent activist from South Africa's apartheid era is forming a new political opposition to challenge the government. Mampela Rampele accuses the ruling ANC party of undermining democracy, abusing power and corruption. You can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.